today we're going to do a lesson on buffers, buffer solutions, and it corresponds to 15.1 through 15.3 in your reading. A buffer is a weak acid and its conjugate base, preferably equal moles of the weak acid and conjugate base, or a weak base in its conjugate acid. A uh, buffer is really effective at resisting changes, uh, significant changes in pH if a strong acid or strong base is added. So your blood is buffered. If you add a strong acid or strong base, it will not affect its pH much, assuming you don't exceed the buffering capacity, which we'll talk about in a bit. Let's start out with a review of a weak acid problem from chapter 14. Find the pH of a solution containing 1.0 molar HF. Because it's a weak acid, we assume the percent dissociation will be small. So we can say Ka equals H plus times F minus over HF. Or H plus is going to be the square root of Ka times HF and we get a molarity of 0.027 molar, which corresponds to a pH of 1.57. What happens if we have a common ion with that weak acid? So now we're supposed to find a pH of a solution containing 1.0 molar HF in 1.0 molar NaF. Uh, Na will not affect pH, but F minus is the con is a is a base, so it will actually raise pH because it is a pH. Let's look at how that works. So our ice box looks similar to up here, except notice we have 1.0 right here. We plug into H plus equals Ka times HF over F minus. We get a couple of ones, they cancel out. We get 7.2 times 10 to the negative fourth as a concentration of H+, plus, which corresponds to a 3.14 pH. Notice the common ion effect of adding the F- minus shifts the equilibrium to the left, decreasing the dissociation of the HF, making H plus concentration less. How much less? Well, it looks like somewhere between 10 and 100 times less is it goes from a pH of 1.57 to 3.14. SH plus means a higher pH. Okay, this is really a buffer solution. It's HF and that's a conjugate acid. F minus is the base, there's equal amounts. Um, what if you didn't have equal amounts of HF and F minus, how would that work? Here's an example. Find the pH of a solution containing uh, 0.500 liters of 0.50 molar HF and 0.500 liters of 0 0.40 molar NaF. And what I'm going to do is just do dilution formula with the molarities. And essentially, I'm cutting, because it's a 0.5 liters of each thing, it cuts the concentration in half. So I end up with 0.25 molar of HF in 0 0.20 molar of NaF, and we're concerned about the F minus. So now my numbers are 0.25 and 0 0.20. I can put this in here, and the H plus equals Ka times HF over F minus equation, and I can get to 9.0 times 10 to the negative fourth molar, and a pH of 3.04. Notice I had a little bit more of the HF than the NaF, a little bit more acid than base, so the pH was a little bit lower in this case. There's going to be a shortcut here called the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, which I'll talk about a little bit more closely um, in the next video, but I can say pH equals pKa plus the log of the base over the acid, and I can just say the pH equals the pKa, which is 3.14, plus the log of 0 0.20 over 0 0.25. And I can get 3.14 minus 
uh, one zero gives me 3.04. In the problem before, where my acid and base, conjugate base were the same amounts, pH equals pKa. Since the base and the acid are the same, the log of one equals zero, and then the pH equals pKa, which is just 3.14. pH is the negative log of H plus pKa is the negative log of Ka. So all I'd have to do is take the Ka, take the negative log of that. Okay, so an acid, a buffer is a weak acid in its conjugate base. So how does adding a strong acid or strong base affect this? Just one moment. We are back from letting out the dog. Okay, so here it says, find the pH of 0 0.030 moles of NaOH is added to a solution containing 0 0.500 liters of 0 0.050 molar HF and 0 0.500 liters of 0 0.40 molar NaF. So it looks just like the weak buffer solution we did before, except now we added some solid NaOH. The solid NaOH is going to be a real small volume, so that won't affect things. I'm going to take liters times moles per liter to get moles of HF, and I'm going to take liters times moles per liter to get moles of NaF. Then what I'm going to do is, what's going to happen is, is this strong base is going to convert the HF to F minus. Instead of it just being OH, it's going to be F minus, so it's going to affect the pH of the system, but not nearly as much as a strong base OH would. It's going to convert the strong acid to a weak. Um, I'm just going to form, convert the weak acid to a weak base and affect the pH only slightly. So what happens is, is HF, I had 0.25 moles, but 0.03 moles of it gets converted, so I'm left with 0.22 moles of HF. Um, what also will happen, 0.03 moles of F minus will increase by 0.03, and it'll go from 0.20 to 0.23. Now it's by far easiest to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation here, and I'll just say pH equals the pKa, which is 3.14, and I'm going to take the log of the base, which is the F minus, over the log of the HF, which is 0.22. And I get 3.14 plus 0.02 is 3.16. Notice after I add the base, I have a little bit more NAF than HF. So therefore, the pH rises slightly from 3.14 to 3.16. What happens if I add strong acid? The strong acid will react with the F minus to convert it to HF, increasing the amount of HF. Let's take a look. So I had 0.25 moles of HF, 0.20 moles of NAF, I add the 0 0.03 moles of acid formed to the HF. That now becomes 0.25, or point, I'm sorry, 0.28. And I subtract the 0 0.03 from the 0 0.20 because the F minus goes down. That gives me 0.17. I plug it back in Henderson Hasselback, and it's 3.14 log of the base over the acid. Notice I have quite a bit more acid than base, so it lowers the pH, but not by a huge deal. 2.92, not nearly as much as adding a strong acid to water or a strong base to water. Okay, that is an example of buffer solutions. Notice there's base, and we'll just go back here. If you add an acid, there is a base to soak it up and convert it to the weak acid. If you add strong base, there's an acid will convert it to weak base, and it doesn't affect pH as much. What happens if I add 
more moles of a strong acid or strong base than I have of HF or NAF, you exceed the buffering capacity, you will have an extreme um, change in your pH in that case. So you got to keep the buffering capacity in mind.